All right, this is just something that I wanted to get off my chest real quick. It was while we were watching the K manga like celebration thing yesterday, right? And I liked it. I liked what they were trying to do. I liked what they tried to implement with the English speaking audience. I like how they tried to be very forthright and upfront with, you know, how things work and the processes behind specific creators who are on that platform. I liked it. I liked it a lot. And the hero Mashima drawing section. I thought that that was really cool. Mad respect to Hiro Mashima, right? Creator of Eden Zero, Fairy Tale, and those of the like. There's a few more that he's created that are slipping my mind right now, but I'm doing this off the top of my head. So I can't really give you guys all of the details that you would like, but the one thing that definitely didn't like roll with me was Gachi Akata not being mentioned at all. With how important Gachi Akata is to me and knowing it's one of the premier manga on that platform, the fact that it didn't get brought up at all, I felt robbed just a little bit, right? I guess I'm being a little extra because I love Gachi Akata a lot, but with Gigguk being there, Gar, whatever you guys want to call him, right? I just call him Gigguk. With Gigguk being there, I was just like, oh, he gonna bring up Gachi at some point. He got to. It's one of the new joints on here. He gotta bring up Gachi. He said he loved Gachi before let's see if the boy comes through and he did but i can't blame him it's a tough task when it's just three of you guys shout out to all three of the mcs that was there by the way it's a premiere and you guys were trying to get your camaraderie down right i i get it i get it 100 percent. but yeah gachi not being mentioned at all it's stunk but learning about editors was dope i thought that that was pretty cool learning about attack on titan was probably the most craziest thing of that entire show because Isayama sensei said that attack on titan was supposed to end at volume three i don't know whether or not like that is big news to y'all but that's huge to me because bro that was still when they were inside the walls right how what how that that's crazy to me i'm glad isayama definitely didn't like stay that course because i don't know if attack on titan would be as revered as it is right now but man it was interesting right that was an interesting thing this is just a quick video that i put together were you guys a fan of the k manga premiere celebration yesterday make sure y'all let me know in the comment section below leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new like i said the biggest robbery is that gachi Akata was not there and it was not even mentioned right it, it was in kodansha and it was not even mentioned and again i know it's tough when you were in front of an army of people who are just trying to get things rolling and i heard more japanese than i did english so i sort of understand why like a lot of the things didn't go the way it could have went but talk about gachi more man i felt robbed <laughs> i'll say it again i felt robbed it was two hours it was some good shit and some bad shit but overall it was a pretty decent experience man make sure y'all let me know how y'all felt about it below and it's your boy damo senpai and i will catch you guys in the next video